took the bus for the first time today. It was very embarrassing. I tried to insert coins into like a card machine and then I just gave it to the bus driver and I walked away and she was like, come back, you have to take a ticket. And then I took a ticket and I walked away again. She said, no, you have to scan the ticket. Oh my God. And then I got off at the wrong stop and I'm walking through a graveyard now. I don't know where I am. I want to clarify that I'm panting because for some reason this graveyard is like a steep incline. Uh, yeah. This black cat just crossed the road. Started running towards me. Well, not towards me, I guess, because he just left once I said that. <sighs> Bye. What am I doing? I need to get home. Good morning. Um, my this is the second week of me living in France. Um, my social anxiety is still thriving, and yesterday I journaled, um, to kind of get me to be brave again. Um, so we are going to venture into the world today a lot. Um, there's a curfew because of COVID at 6 p.m., so we are going to try to jam-pack things in before then. Um, I have a list of things I am going to purchase today, um, a... I don't even know if I'll end up putting text here, but a SIM card for my phone so that I can have a French number, um, a yoga mat, um, I am going to see if I can get some cotton clothes. All of the clothes that I brought are polyester, and because of my anxiety, I am sweating very odorously and kind of in a nasty way. And I'm feeling really self-conscious, so I need to get more breathable fabrics, um, which is unfortunate because I have no room in my suitcases to take back that many clothes. So, But that is a problem for Vinita in six months, so I can address that in six months. Um, and then I might also treat myself to like a little candle for my room, because on Fridays I work from home, and on the weekends we have to stay at home. So something a little cozy. And so we're going to get dressed, we're going to try to look nice, we're going to do our makeup, um, first, I'm going to eat breakfast and do all that stuff, and yeah, bye! Okay, there is a makeup artist on Instagram named Malvina is fan that I am a huge um, fan of. She's like one of my favorite makeup artists, and she did a look called Ocean Eyes that I tried to recreate, and I can't even lie, like, I look kind of good. <laughs> I went to free to find um, a sim card and it did not work because AT&T locked my sim or something so I'm still being charged for my new French sim card it does not work though um, and then I was like okay like let me shop because that is my safe activity I went to Uniqlo everything was going great and I was checking out and I was like okay like I know the word for bag if he asks me for a bag, I know what to do. Like, there's no need for English in this uh, interaction. Um, and he started speaking to me, and I was like, oh shit, he's saying something really complex here. Um, and he kept saying it, and I was like, okay, um, do you speak English? Like, I finally caved in. And he uh, was like, do you need a bag? And I was like, okay. Okay, well, clearly my training did nothing. Um, and so I'm sweating a little bit from that. I uh, hopped into Sephora really quick just to calm my nerves because it is a safe space and it actually worked. It was a safe space and everyone was really nice. Um, and so now I'm going to hunt for food and try to order food uh, without looking like a fool. And I will try to record that. It's a little easier to record when I'm outside than when I'm inside a store. Um, and then we can have a little chat. Okay, bye. I found a place that I thought um, had good vegetarian food, had really good reviews. It is closed. Um, I'm now very hungry and very afraid. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, 
Je voudrais une pâte de pizza, s'il vous plaît. La pâte de pizza Oui. On a poulet, jambon ou fromage Fromage. Vous voulez chauffer un petit peu ou pas Très bien. Vous voulez chauffer Oui. Ouais. Ordering food actually went pretty well, um, as you saw a little bit of it. Um, the guy asked me a bunch of questions in French, and he actually enunciated uh, like so well that I didn't need to ask him to translate um, anything, um, which is cool. I just finished eating. I'm sitting by the river. It's a beautiful day, and I'm glad that I ventured outside today. Today went decently well. Um, instead of buying a yoga mat, I went to this really cute bookshop that I found with a bunch of um, English books. And I couldn't speak French there. Uh, I had no idea what the girl was saying to me, but she was so sweet and she was like, your French is good, like keep trying. Um, but she, we ended up just speaking in English. Um, and then I think in comparison to the start of this video where I was trying to take the bus, and me being able to actually understand um, everything that the pizza guy was saying today, um, I feel like growth has occurred. Uh, and I'll do a quick haul of the three things that I spent four hours buying today. I was thinking of maybe returning this for a bigger, baggier size, but then I accidentally ripped the tag off uh, while I was putting it on, so now I'm stuck with it, but I love it! <laughs> Um, okay, <laughs> if you know me, you know that I hate wearing jeans and everyone here wears a lot of jeans and pants in general, which I um, just don't really have. I wear a lot of like sweatpants that are disguised as real pants. Um, so I was like, let me ride these. I kept gravitating towards them because they're like a nice dark brown color and like kind of shiny. These look so bad. Like I don't know what I was thinking. I sized up because I was convinced I gained weight and they're like, kind of falling off and these are for tall people which I am not, so um, I'm not too sure about this one, lads. But I don't know if I have the mental stamina to make a return in French, let alone, I mean, it was hard enough to buy things in French. Um, so I might try and like pin them and cuff them and do anything humanly possible to avoid returning them. Yeah. Okay, and finally, this is what I bought instead of the yoga mat. Um, I don't know, I really gravitated towards it at the store, I think, because it's um, a South Asian author and the, uh, these words at the front that made it so interesting. Um, but it costs 18 euros, uh, so it's the only book I'll ever read for the rest of my life. Also, quick side note, uh, Kathy just told me um, she thought I was 34, <laughs> not 24, and she was like, wow, like, I thought you looked so, like, young and good for, like, being 34, um, so now I, does that mean I look bad for being 24? I'm really surprised. <laughs>